This is a cool smartphone overview of the Huawei or Huawei MediaPad 7 Lite. And I'm recording this on an iPad if you wanted to know uh, with the new iOS 7. Uh, and um, let's have a look at the back. Let's start at the back. Now that camera there that you can see is a 3.2 megapixel camera and we've got an external speaker housed in a little white section at the top of the device and you can see we've got a sort of matte finish here, matte silver finish I don't know how close we can go obviously not very, so I'll come out um, we've got um, the Huawei logo here or Huawei, however you want to pronounce it there you go, we can go quite close, look at that finish there can you see that finish? It's very nice, isn't it? Uh, now, it's a very curved device, very nice um, size. I like the 7 inch screen on here, which is 1024 by 600, I should say. Let's focus on that screen. 1024 by 600 on this. Uh, on the top right, you can just see reflecting off that light, we have a 0 0.3 megapixel camera for face uh, sort of. Work, face work, yeah, face work for you know, sort of video calls, etc. Um, as you can see, it's a very nice size. I do like it, it's like holding a, a, a book effectively. On the bottom of that uh, rear, we have the micro USB port and a 3.5 millimeter audio port, along with the microphone, which you can see there. Because here on the left, you have got way hey, where you have got if I didn't drop the thing um, come on let's focus in see that sim card there you can put in a standard size sim card standard size sim card will let you make phone calls and browse the web when you're away from your Wi-Fi you got a micro SD card slot which allows up to 32 gigs of storage and you got the volume up volume down and the power on a very nice curved edge which I will demonstrate to show you in poor light with dodgy focus so you can see here how it curves around. Um, so initially, this looks great. Um, fairly good resolution screen, 1024 by 600. We've got um, eight gigs of flash, uh, one gig of RAM. Uh, we've got uh, you know a, a Cortex CPU, which initially people don't know what that is, and we've got a 4,100 milliamp battery. Now that Cortex CPU um, sounds good and the interface is good however we have got version 4.0.3 of Android on here which is kind of getting a little old now it's not ancient but it's getting a little old but you've got you know you've got this the panels up the top here you can put your regularly used applications on here you can see we've got Angry Birds Star Wars 2 runs quite well on here we've got DLNA on here let's focus in on that screen again we've got uh, Chrome browser, we've got you know, all the Google Kit, sort of calendar, gallery, Gmail, Maps. We've also got Kingsoft Office, which is pretty good for editing and uh, creating um, documents. We've got a movie studio for editing video that you've taken. Playbooks, which is great. And this sort of um, size of device for reading books, really good. You've got Facebook on here. Voice dialer, don't forget it is also a phone. If you want to put a 7 inch device up against your face, then it's up to you if you want to do that. You've got Twitter on here, um, YouTube, you can install loads of other stuff through the Play Store, which has a short link up here. All good. We can go into Twitter. We can see Twitter. Well, we would do if it was kind of running. It's gone into the mobile version. Don't ask me what that is. That's kind of a. Uh, mobile version of Twitter or just a link to that. We've got the camera on here which produces okay photos so let's go into I don't know let's go into Foxit Reader which is a PDF reader that loads up very well indeed very nice and quick we can go into Angry Birds too we can play Angry Birds it loads up very quickly indeed it's a nice advert here yeah sort of that loads up very well the whole interface is fairly nippy, it's not too bad at all, but for some reason, which I can't completely figure out, the browsing is really not good enough. I mean, there's Twitter, that's loaded up fine. Let's go to the BBC News website. We know that the BBC News website is always very fast indeed. I'm going to try and go to the full fat version of the BBC News website, and this is where you notice problems. Now, the CPU in here 
maybe called a Cortex A8, but it is running at a flat one gigahertz, and it really shows the rendering on web pages takes a long time. Now, cool smartphone is in the cache here. It is stored in the background. Um, I've got Wi-Fi. You can see here down the bottom. I've got two bars of Wi-Fi. Um, clicking on the home page now. This is all stored in the cache. Well, not all of it, but most of it stored in the cache. And uh, yeah, you see my issue. That that's taking far too long to load web pages. If I go to a page that I haven't been to before, a Galaxy Note three on pre-order EE. Um, kind of bored now. Yeah. So the rendering speed it could be improved. I've tried it. This is a Google Chrome browser here, which is coming in. If we switch across to uh, the standard browser, you can see, I, I mean, if I go into there again, you can see I've not got a great deal of apps running, Angry Birds and stuff like that. Okay, you know, even with these all closed, similar sort of issue. So this is the mobile version of our site, you can see here, and it's just kind of browsing around, there's a bit of a sort of lag. It's kind of, um, yeah, it's a little tiny bit slower than I would like let's say so uh, yeah it's a very nice device I do like the look of it uh, the you know it's a shame there's no flash on the camera although you're not going to be using it as your main camera but it's just the speed of this device which kind of uh, hurts it for me and um, sort of drops it down a little but um, other than that the Huawei media pad does look nice it feels nice it's well designed usual sort of quality from Huawei Huawei whoever you want to pronounce it very good quality handset indeed, but uh, sadly I wish it had a bit faster CPU inside of it.